Welcome everyone. I announced a Deerstalker hat and an Inverness cape and we're still doing that, but I realized I, I need to buy some materials first. So today we will do something quick and simple and nice. A bow tie. Stay tuned. Okay, right, uh, when you're done sewing along the chalk lines and uh, cut out the, the bow tie a little closer to the, uh, to the seams, uh, it should look like this. I already added a few cuts um, right into the curves of the bow tie, which is, um, which is important for um, a nice result when turning the bow tie. Uh, and then there are a few remarks I want to add. You should not use any tools when turning the bow tie. I know they make life uh, a lot easier sometimes, but you're always um, risking damaging the fabric. So take your time and turn them by hand and just by hand. Another thing is cutting down the seam allowance to the absolute minimum, uh, because this means less fabric that uh, needs to be turned through the bottlenecks here. Now I used uh, the pattern from our book, which is uh, quite a fluffy bow tie. And if you want to alter a bow tie pattern, be sure to alter the end here and not uh, the strap itself. Because if you alter this and make it too small, um, turning will be hell or impossible. So if you want to um, change the, the look of your uh, bow tie, then change this part here. Uh, you might have also noticed that I cut out one piece or two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. Uh, you can do this when you're really sure how, uh, how big the bow tie needs to be for your neck. If you're not sure, use two pieces and uh, merge them later on uh, so you can check whether the bow tie is uh, the right size for your neck. Okay, so this is how it looks after sewing and I already turned the other end here, which looks like this. Um, what you do now here is, well, of course, turning the other end and then uh, using besting thread to, uh, well, really pin down the edge of the bow tie so the, uh, the seam is right in the middle and then you press it. You press it really good. Uh, remove the uh, besting thread, press it again 
and then you're finished. Okay, I forgot to mention that you still need to close the gap uh, in the strap with a little blind stitch, but this is the last step and then you're finished. Yeah, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. A big thank you to the uh, very supportive Costuber community. Thanks to my barber who gave me a fresh haircut. Finally, the barber shops reopened here. See you soon. My good sir, are you lost?